hi everyone in this session we'll see how to create an exam so first we have to create a resource and then create an exam and then create a course for an exam and assign it to students so for that first we have to log in into our LMS account and then click on courses and then click on resources and we have to create resource there are many types of resources that is match the following fill in the blanks descriptive questions and mcq questions so first we can add a fill in the blanks question in this resource so first please select the class and subject and then click on add resources and we can click on the type of resource that is fill in the blanks so first we'll select the fill in the blanks first we'll click on this summative assessment it is used to filter out resources it will make this easier uh, after that so first Click on the title that is G2 Science Code BA1 with fill in the blanks code is FIB and then question one. Okay, and I'm sorry, we should add this on title okay and here we should add a question that is for example if this is question cat is a and we should add the word for the question fill in the blanks question in parenthesis that is mammal so here so this is how the students see it so we should add the word for the fill in the blank in a parenthesis so it will be, it will be shown like this so if you want to add hints click on add hints and so now we have to add marks so scroll it down and add mark here i'll add one you can add marks respectively and then save it so you can see this here and if you want to view it click on it and click on view so this is how the student will see it he can answer here okay now we can add a now we can add a match the following question so again select grade subject and then click on add resources and then you will see match the following here click on it and then you can add the title again g1 g2 g2 science code pa1 and then this is match the following its code is mf and then question number one so now you should uh, again select your summative assessment because when you are filtering the resources it makes us easy so again now we you should add questions so first we can add our question number one so i'm just here adding question you can add the question and then add the respective answer here answer one and we can upload any images so in lower classes sometimes we need to upload images so choose file and then you can add a file here okay so if you want to add new question click on add another and then add a new question i'm adding here question number two and then add respective answer here answer two and then you can add another question add as much as you need that is question number three and its respective answer here answer three and then we'll add marks here i'm giving three you can add marks accordingly and then click on save so now we have saved it and now you can view this by clicking on the resource and three dots here and view and view it you can see this here like this now we can see it as uh, respective answers as shown near it but when if student view it here they can see that it is jumbled and they they need to drag it accordingly so that's it and now we can add a new resource that is an mcq question so, so first again we should add class grade subject and then click on add resources and click on question you can find here question so you can see here so then again select summative assessment and then title g1 and g2 g2 science p1 
PA1. For MCQ, it is MCQ and then question number one. So we have given the title and then for, we can see that there are four steps here. First is question. So we will give the question here. This, this is MCQ question. So this is an MCQ question. This is question. Give the question here and then click on answer type. So you can see that it is objective and just here. Click on objective and then for answers, you will give answers here. First, we'll give option one, option one, and then we'll give option two, option two, and we can give as many as op options we want, and then we'll give option three, and now I'm giving option D, the correct answer, that is the correct answer, okay, and if we can also choose files also, okay, any photos and anything you want, and then we'll select and select it will select the right answer which option we have i have given d as the right option so i'll click on it okay so this is and then we'll give marks total marks as i'm giving it as one here so we can also see that in questions if uh, we want if in some cases like mathematics and uh, biology chemistry physics there are you know some special figures characters so if we want to add special characters sometimes we, we can't so we should take a screenshot of the image and you can add it here by clicking on this click to upload an image here and you can add the figures from your device or as a screenshot as well so you have already add add marks everything here and then click on save you can do this mcq questions for true and false also like uh, two options as true and false okay so if you want to view this So we can view this as yes, this is I'm sorry MCQ as you can see here MCQ question here this is how the students see it and now we can add a descriptive question again select grade and subject and then add resources you will click question again for descriptive questions Okay, you'll get a question here. Then select summative assessment. If you're clicking visible only to me, only you can view the question. That is, no other teachers can view this. Students can view, but only this view will be only allowed to you. And then we'll give the title again. G1, science, PA1. And uh, this is descriptive question. So DQ is the code. And then we'll give question number one. So for this, again, we can see the four bars here. So we'll give the question here. This is, this is a DQ question. So question. So we'll give it the question of the question here, descriptive question here. And then we have answer type. We'll change this into, uh, it's already descriptive here. So no need to change. And then we goes to answers. So here the student will have to write the answer. So if in case we want the student to upload any files or images or any drawings, we should give file option here. And then we'll go to marks and give marks here. I'm giving 10 uh, for this descriptive question. And then we'll save it. Save. Okay, I'm sorry. This title is already here. So I'll give this as question two. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. I'll give this as grade two and question one. Okay, and then I'll save this so we can view this again. Here I can view this view option. Yes, I can see this question here. So the student will answer it here. Okay, and now we can add this into an exam. So we'll create an exam now. Exam results. So for that, we'll select grade, subject, and uh, Add, click on add resources and you can see an exam option here click on it so now we have already selected the grade and subject here now we'll give the title that is i'm giving 
g2 sines pa1 test 1 so i'm giving this name so i'll give the duration 30 minutes and total marks is 30 you can give accordingly marks marks accordingly and you can see that there are two boxes here this one for add time for each question and show answers in report we can neglect it so we can add sections here for exams we can add sections so if the first section is one word question so we'll give one word questions and then we can add questions so we'll select the class uh, select the class and subject and click on this yeah here we are using the summative assessment so that we can filter the questions have already said that so we'll select the okay one word questions so one word questions will have okay true fill in the blanks okay we'll add fill in the blanks questions so i have added three questions okay so if i want this i mean sorry if i want to add uh, i want the students to view only two questions out of three we'll add here two and in random order so that all students might view it in a random order sometimes students some students won't see the same questions as the others okay so i'll try to add okay now this is two specific questions from science you can see it here okay and now we can add another section that is descriptive questions this descriptive questions okay now we'll add questions i'm sorry okay okay i'll give the class and subject and click on summative assessment here and you can filter out here so i'll give descriptive question descriptive question one descriptive question two description four okay adding randomly okay so i have added four questions but i want the students to add answer only three so i'll give three in random order again so students will view only three questions here you can see the three specific questions from science so we can add any sessions passages or any sections you can add and now we'll save it so now it is saved sometimes in some subject like english we have comprehensive or passage questions so what we can do is that we'll take descriptive questions we can add description questions and resources and give passage give the passage for one question and the question below it and for the next passage question we should add again the passage and the questions so we should add passages separately for all questions okay okay now we'll see this so now we want to create a course okay so for that we'll go back to courses and click on courses and click on publish a course so now we should name a course here so I'll have, have already named it G1, I mean G2, Science, Science, PA1, Test 1. I'll name it like this and click on Test 1. This is the two mandatory things we have to make sure. And then we can select classes if we want. And then we can browse images for this test for its outer cover you can browse if you want and from your device or from web and click on next option so here we will as free we'll click on this free option and then click on next and we can see this syllabus here so this here we can see the default by default it is five marks so we need to change it as click on this edit icon and change it into what minimum marks you're giving if the test is out of 100 i'll give the mark as 40 and here maximum marks is 100 so we can add it accordingly and click on save so we want to add our exam here right? so click on the add material and uh, you can see so many options here so click on this material name so we'll give the name again 
g2 here we can see a g2 ba1 test one so we'll add this save so we can add this by adding a new material option here i have okay then if you want to view this when you click on this you can view this okay so now we need to purchase and publish this okay save now we'll go again in courses and uh, we'll go in courses and we can see manage public option here or manage public courses so yes we can see here g1 science pa1 test one here if you want to edit this so we'll go to edit course and here we'll click next next so we can see here we can do any edits here so that's it thank you